So this article I just published about Google Project Zero, also known as Spectre or Meltdown, patch and flash info. Now, the hypervisor is step one, and I'm gonna show that in this video. This has already been documented in all kinds of detail over here that you should back up ESXi itself. This link will tell you how. Maybe use VMware Update Manager if you have that. Or you can follow along with this article, substituting this one command. And this gives you a full description of the drawbacks, prerequisites, uh, turning on SSH, firewall, um, and so forth, as well as maybe a ZND driver. So I'm going to cover that in a second. So for now, I'm going to triple click here, control C to get that in the clipboard, and right click that and paste it into the putty session. So the patch is now underway on this host. It has no VMs running. It's already been backed up. I'm not worried about any of that. And we may get a warning about some VIBs, some drivers that may disappear when you do this install. And there you go. So I just need to do this. Let me get this all on one screen. So this is VMware's way of making sure you know darn well you might have an impact to some drivers that you already have installed before it'll let you proceed. So now what it's doing is pulling straight from the internet with no username and password needed to get to this public URL for the code. Okay, so we're waiting for this code dated 2018, January 4th, to come on down and be applied to this USB key that my ESXi server, which is ZND, is booted from right now. All right, so this article is specifically focused on Supermicro ZND, but there may be some information that is useful to other folks like these reference materials down below from Intel and from VMware, all pulled together in one place for me for you. Notice we got hypervisor specific remediation and some guidelines about the guest OSs. And I start off the article explaining, you got to patch your hypervisor, which is requiring a reboot. If you have HA on, well, then your VMs stay up. You got to patch your BIOS, that's a reboot, and then find the VMs, which reboots the VMs. So you can have some downtime here, no matter what. And that's what has cloud providers freaking out a little bit and pretty annoyed. All right. Um, Update is successful, but remember, we had a warning about the Intel NVMe VIB. Now, at the moment, I am not worried about that, but I am going to make sure I still have my 10 gig networking working after the boot. Actually, I'm not going to focus on that. I'm just going to keep this article simple and focus on what most people have, and that is just a hypervisor. NVMe drivers are baked right in for most people. That works fine with, say, Samsung drives, for instance. And uh, I'm ready to reboot, um, even with the loss of this um, Intel-specific VIB here that I got warned about. All right. So if I look down here. Okay. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab this whole session in the clipboard because it can be handy as I blog about this a little later. All right, so at the bottom I've typed reboot, and now it's going to reboot. That's it. Again, I encourage you to look at the more thorough videos I've done in the past. If any of these steps uh, confuse you, including saying, you know, watching the server uh, finish and reboot, um, and logging back in, making sure everything looks square. But that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching, and thanks for visiting tinkertry.com.